What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Now, as promised, I told you guys I would be recreating this look that I did in my top 10 drugstore highlighter video. When I put that up, everyone was like, where's that tutorial? <laughs> so of course, I had to do it for you guys. This is a very dark, dramatic, sultry kind of look. Got that glitter in the inner corner, highlighted to death. Now, the title of this video is called The Definition of Deceased. Now, what does that mean? It's basically like the fiercest look that you can do on your own self where all your friends and family are like, <gasps> like they're dead, they're done. Like, the, it's a wrap. So this is kind of like your way of saying, I am gonna kill and slay you all. Like, you're about to murder everybody in sight if looks could kill. So use hashtag deceased on Twitter and Instagram so I could see the looks if you want to recreate this little madness. Now, also, this week, me and Nikki Tutorials, we started a new challenge where we were so inspired from Maria's video of doing her full face and just highlighters, we were like, hmm, we're gonna make this a challenge. So you guys broke my YouTube record for 1.1 million views in just one day. I was like, Ugh. Like, I woke up and it was only like 18 hours from when I posted it and it was already over a million and I was just like, oh my god, that shit is crazy. So thank you guys so much for breaking my record and you also broke Nikki's record. We're just so happy that you guys are all into the glow season and I'm just excited that people are, you know, just enjoying makeup. Like, I think some people take things way too serious. At the end of the day, all this wipes off and you can start again tomorrow. So if you're one of those people that's a little uptight and you take yourself too serious, Take a hit and get over yourself. All right, now, in other news, you guys are gonna see when this intro is over that I finally got to dye my hair. So, of course, my real hair has been growing out. My roots are, like, treacherous. In my last video, I am so sorry you guys had to watch those roots for that long. <laughs> so, besides that, if you wanna see how to create this madness, then keep on watching. Now, I'm the type of person that likes to eat their dessert before dinner, so we're gonna be snatching this nose and doing our highlight first. I'm gonna take this Luxie brush. This was created by JD Wadey. Girl, I love you. And this is everything. Now, I saw my girl Nikki Tutorials using this the other day, and I was like, thank God someone's talking about this because this brush is the life. I know it's sold out a few times. It is really big on Instagram, so if you can get a hold of this, get a hold of it. Now I'm just going to be dipping into my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I like to mix these two shades on the left, bam, and hide. That is my fingernail gouging out the pan. Who hates when you fuck up your pan? We're going to be taking this side first, very skinny, and we're just going to be dipping into this once, literally once. There is a lot of pigment. The closer you put the two lines together to create that shadow, the more pinched your nose is gonna be. So I am gonna really bring mine in. It's crazy what makeup can do. Look at how crazy and big it looks on the end now because I haven't finished it. Come on, illusions. Yes. Now we're gonna take the fluffy side and this has no product on it and I'm just gonna blend and buff it out a little bit. And I'm being really soft with my pressure so it just looks effortless. And then I'm gonna start to drag it down a little this way. And then I'm gonna take some darkness and blend that up on the nostrils. Come on, nostrils. How's your day? And then with the damp beauty blender, I'm just going to lightly go over those edges where they're a little more dark at the top. All right, now to make sure this nose stays snatched, I'm gonna be dipping in with a little bit of Ket Cosmetics. Girl, I hit pan on this the other day. I am upset, so I definitely need a new one. This is a invisible setting powder, and I love it. It's really good to set under the eyes if you have any problems with creasing. The nose is set. Now, to recreate that extreme highlight from that drugstore look, I'm gonna be pulling out my Sleek Makeup. Now, this brand, woo, it is so good. These highlighters are extreme. I use this in my Rolls Royce video as well, and everyone was like, damn, bitch, you blind in us. Damn, damn, damn. So I'm gonna be taking my Morphe M510 or the 510 as we call it on the streets. This one, this is the one you guys. I'm gonna be taking this shade and this shade. Now this palette has three powders and one cream. I know when I talked about it before I said the wrong thing. Oops, I'm clocking myself. So these two I love mixing. So I'm just gonna start out by 
And that's all you need, you guys, because this is deadly. Now, I'm just going to take this in the high planes of my cheekbones, and I'm not going to bring it down as low as I normally do, because I want to look really high and elevated. It's like lavender glasses on my cheeks. All right, now it's time for the Cupid's bow, so let's just dust on there. I like to look like I was drinking a glass of Silver Surfer's cum, so I'm just going to, you know, really intensify that lip. And because I'm not going to do my lipstick for a minute, I'm just going to dust some on here because my bottom lip is like, Hello, what about me? Now, the nose was really important, so I'm just going to take one little finger swipe, that's all you need, and I'm just going to rub it on the end, and we're just going to dust that, and go up. So it's like really, really, really extreme. Now, sometimes I'll go back in with that nose contour and just kind of clean up a little bit. Snatch the gods. Now, let's get on to these eyes. For the highlight under the brow, all the way to the lid color, we're going to be dipping into my Beauty Killer palette. Now, this sold out so quickly when it launched a few weeks ago I was like Jesus take the wheel so now my site is officially restocked so if you want to dip into this madness all summer long give it a try but I'm gonna be using this amazing like bone ivory color this is called China white and I'm just using a little flat synthetic brush let's get to blending Now, to get that really dark, smoky eye, it's actually way easier than you think. I'm just gonna be using this MAC paint pot. This is from the Pro Collection, and it's called Black Ground. It is really dope. So I'm basically just gonna coat my entire lids with this, and then use shadow to buff and blend and make it really smoky. So it's really not hard, and there's really no fallout with this, which is amazing. So I'm gonna be using this little Chanel Blender synthetic brush, and we're just gonna dip right in. Hi. It works quickly. Now, it depends on where you want it. I like to have mine all the way in, and then we'll put some highlight on the outside. So I'm just gonna start by coating my entire lid. Now, this has so much pigment, and this brush is just gonna help really get it blended out a little bit. So I am gonna stop it right here, and then I'm gonna drag it down. And I'll probably keep it just like that, and then you gotta drag it in, and of course, we'll use a lot more pigment. Let me dip into my pot, and that's it. You're just gonna coat all the way over. Now, of course, if you don't like it all the way in the inner corner, you can scale it back. This is just what I prefer. And then I like to drag it out this way. And that's it. Now, this part does not look pretty. So you're like, uh, good morning, panda. This is obviously just the base. So, you know, it, it's got to look a little ugly before it gets pretty. Kind of like my birth. The black is laid. Now let's blend it out. I'm going to take a little MAC 217 brush and I'm going to dip into some gray eyeshadow. Now there are so many new palettes out you guys. How the hell are we ever going to all get ready on the same page? I'm like, <laughs> now this one by Urban Decay is really dope. This is the Alice Through the Looking Glass palette that Urban Decay created and this is amazing. First of all, if we can just give a round of applause for packaging because I died when I saw this you guys. Look, you open up this and um, hi! So dope. I love butterflies, by the way. Now, the palette is down here, and you just pull her out. Bam! I love people that pull out. Okay, so now, this palette has some really dope shades. Now, the other day when I created that look, I was, like, looking for some gray shadows. It's kind of hard to find a gray. Can more people make them, please? This little palette is genius. Now, there's one called Mirror, Dream On, and Time, and I'm gonna be dipping into all of those in a minute. But first, I'm just gonna dip into Mirror. Yes, Mirror. And then a little dot of Time. Sometimes I like to mix to get a more customized color and I'm just gonna coat my entire brush. So we're gonna buff this out and just really go lightly over that harsh line and start dragging up a little bit just so it starts to get that amazing blendy look. And it's just a lot of really small back and forth motions. And then what we're gonna do is when we start to drag it up, we're gonna take this brush and dip it back into China White. So we're just gonna blend back and forth, back and forth. So a lot of back and forth motions today. All right, now to get that really big dramatic eye, we're gonna take a blending brush. Just pick your favorite, it could be anybody's. And we're gonna get back into mirror and then just do a little bit of dream on. And now we're gonna really smoke up and out and just start blending up. Now, I'm sure you're like, you look a little different than that last look. Contact lenses, you guys. I was wearing 
these icy white blue lenses and they are from Desio. These are usually the brand I wear in all of my videos. Now these are from Italy. They're amazing. You can order them online. So I'm going to put these in and this literally transforms the entire look. It really makes your eyes pop so big. So I'm just going to take my eye like this and just press it on my eye. I mean, hi, now my smoky eye looks unreal and uh, I'm, in, I'm in love. So you see a difference these make on my eyes. Now if your eyes water, just pray to Mother Mary and I like to just dab it with my beauty blender. I mean, this shit's already wet, right? Now that the contacts are in, obviously the smoky eye is like, bam! It's like way poppier now. So let's do the under eyes. All right, now for my waterline today, I'm gonna be using a new product. Yes, no more pencil liner. Now this is the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Gel Liner. Yes, and it's waterproof, so I'm really down for this. Now, this one is called Dark Side, and we're just gonna pop this in the waterline and see what happens. Oof, this is so black and amazing. Now I'm gonna use this little Tom Ford number 14 blending brush, and we're just gonna dip into time a little dot. I mean, this is so pigmented, so a little goes a long way, and then I'm gonna dip into Dream On a little bit. Just kind of mix those two together. Now, be careful for fallout, you guys. So sometimes I'll take my brush and I'll just Slap it once, and then we're just going to connect the inner corner and start blending out all down the waterline. Now we're gonna take a blank brush and we're gonna dip into the shade called Dream On. Now this has like little glitter in it, it's so pretty. It's very whimsical. And then you're just gonna go over that darkness. So if you saw the first time I did this look, you're like, there's like little iridescence. So that's what this is. And we're just gonna go over the entire lash line. So it's like, come on, smoke. Okay, we are really getting smoked out, you guys. I'm like, <laughs> girl, speaking of. Feel it, girl, feel it. All right, now to get that inner corner glowing, we're gonna be using the new Viseart palette. Oof, look at those colors, you guys. This is called the Boheme Dream. And, oh, I just cannot. I think I wanna do a whole look with this entire palette soon. But for now, we're just gonna be dipping into this silver moment right here. Oh, girl. And I'm just gonna put this over the black that we already have down. And it's just gonna get a little, just a little pop in the corner. And I'm just doing small little circular motions and working that in there. And then I did bring it down just a little bit on my inner corner. And then I put glitter on top of it. So that's what we're gonna do today. All right, so that's like our little base. And now, oh, now for the makeup porn, I'm gonna pull out this MAC Reflex pearl. Oh, it's really pretty. I'm like, mm-mm. I used to wear this all over my entire cheekbones back in the day, and I'm still using it, and I'm obsessed. So I am just going to really intensify this by wetting the brush. This is like, mm -hmm. And then we're just gonna dip into the pot. Now this is an old school MAC pot from when I used to work there 10 years ago, and they still have this color. It's still popping, I guess. Thank God, because this is one of my favorites. So now I'm just gonna place this right in here. And this is what you guys saw in that picture. If you were like, what in the hell was that sparkle? This is porn to me. Like, I, I don't need to even watch people have sex at the stage. I just need to watch people put on glitter. Dust off any fallout immediately. All right, now this just changed the entire look. Now, it's time to put on some false lashes, so we're just gonna grab our roller lash from Benefit. You guys know this is my favorite. Oh, Lord. And we're just gonna coat my lashes with this. Oh, uh -huh, yes. All right, let's dip in one more time. Ooh. This brush on the bottoms, you guys, it's just like, it is so perfect. All right, mascara is done. Now, what kind of false lashes do we wanna do today? There, I mean, ugh, I gotta stick true to what I did for that look the other day. So I'm gonna be using my New Bouncem Russian Black. Oh, these are everything, especially for this kind of look. It just takes your lashes up to a whole new level. So let's get our Esquito Lash Glue, latex free. Thank you, Jesus. And let's apply these bad boys. I just found this Benefit brush and I'm like, oh my God, let me take some glitter and just, I love how tattoos look with glitter on top. It's like, ooh, come on, grandma is shining from heaven. Yes, girl. Come on now. 
Now that we're on an intergalactic level, let's get to those lashes. The other day, I fast forwarded my lashes and a lot of you were wondering why I took the wand and I put it lightly on my inner corner right there. And then I also took the wand and I put a little bit on the end. That way, the lashes really stay on all day. Like sometimes I don't care what lash glue, I could even use cement. My inner corner, it's gonna come up a little bit. So when I do double on the lash, and on here, it pretty much stays, and this brand is really amazing. So check them out, and let's put these on. All right, lashes are on fleek, woo! Now I think the only thing I wanna do is add in a little bit of blush. I did have some pink blush when I first created this look. I'm just gonna take a little Morphe E3 brush, and I'm just gonna dip into this little Camilla Blush by Becca. I love their packaging. These are really cool because there's a highlight basically like in the blush So I'm just gonna dab in a little bit and we're just gonna just do the little apples of my cheeks so pretty. Now that I got my little rosy glow on I think it's time for some lips <laughs> Okay, so I'm really excited today because I have a new collection of limited edition liquid lips coming out this July and I'm gonna debut a shade for you guys now. I'm like nervous to even show you guys because I've been working on this for a minute. There are five shades, they are gonna be limited. So they are watermelon infused and they smell like watermelon Jolly Ranchers. They are so good. They are of course vegan and cruelty free just like all my other liquid lips and they are in limited edition packaging. Woo! Come on, yellow. So the packaging for the summer is all hot yellow. It's very bright, very vibrant. And this shade is called Virginity and it is like a pale lavender nude. This is like I'm Nude's purple sister and it's one of my favorites. I wore this in my top 10 favorite drugstore highlighters a few weeks ago and everyone was like, what is on your lips? I can't wait for you guys to see this on me. I'm just like, <sighs> okay, I'm hungry again. Come on. I mean, come on, you guys. I felt like my brand was definitely lacking a shade like this. Now, I'm Royalty and Blow Pony have been such hits. I'm like, I gotta make like a lighter version than both of those two. All right, the shade is dry. I don't know about you guys, but I am obsessed. So I will show you guys the rest of this collection in a video soon, but I had to give you guys a sneak peek first. All right, now let's get on some setting spray and finish this look. All right, now for setting spray, in my last video, a lot of you were like, oh my God, I love Tatcha, but you just wasted the whole bottle. Honey, you gotta replay that video. I was getting my Holy Spirit, and I was even giving my ghost some setting spray, and even my soul, if you guys caught, you know, the back row. So I did use about half a bottle last time, so of course I had to get two more, because this one, can you guys see that? Oh my God, she is empty. So since this one ran out, you guys know I had to get a few more of these, so. I think it's only fitting since you guys thought I wasted way too much spray last time. Let's just do a, a double whammy right now so it's a little quicker. Let's get our engines ready one more damn time. <sighs> oh my god, yes, girl. Mother Virginia, Mother Virginia. <sighs> Alright, now that I've taken a bath, let's put on some hair. All right, this is the final look. I am obsessed with this wig. I get asked all the time, who makes that wig? So if you wanna know all about the hair, it is in the description box below. I am loving it. So this is like my ideal look on myself. I think ever since I was little and I started dabbling into makeup, I've always loved to do really dark eyes highlighted features and you know soft lips maybe a hot pink maybe a black lipstick it don't matter what lip it is but this is just like my favorite look on myself so i hope you guys enjoyed this look and what looks do you guys want me to do i know a lot of people want me to do other types of videos so we're going to be doing a lot more lifestyle stuff with nathan and maybe my warehouse and i also want to go inside my makeup factory and show you guys how we make the products so if you guys like those ideas give me some feedback below and i will see you on the next one Bye, guys. Mwah.